Our next guests are twin sisters and Grammy-nominated musicians whose tenth studio album, Cry Baby, will be available October 21st. The first four episodes of their show, High School, based on their New York Times best-selling memoir, premieres on Amazon Free V October 14th with additional episodes airing Fridays. Let's take a look. Next. Name? Sarah Quinn. Tegan Quinn. Are you guys twins? No. Yes. Hey, what? Look, I know that you're mad at me, but we don't know anybody here. Don't you think we should at least have each other? I don't want to share everything with you. Just leave me alone. Please welcome to the show, Tegan and Sarah, everybody. Welcome, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Hi, uh, let me know if I'm blocking Sarah. Okay. Am I? Is that something you worry about? That's so sweet. <laughs> well, no, because I was gonna say, if you can see her, I'll move forward a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was the reverse. It yeah. was reverse sister cruelty. Yeah. So you guys are twins, but this is not something that you leaned into. You kind of shunned your twin identity. Well, we were saving it for this sort of um, the uh, sunset part of our career. Once people stopped being interested in the music, we were like, what else can we twins. milk? Yeah, we were like, let's finally tell people we're twins. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's very, uh, and this is a show uh, based on uh, this memoir you wrote together. And let me first ask, what is the process of writing a memoir together? Obviously you shared the high school experience, but you had different perspectives on it, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't done anything like this before and, um, when we sold the book, I think it was the first part of the process was just terror mm -hmm. because we had to write a book. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then a couple months into it, one of our editors was like, you need a uh, timeline and some structure. <laughs> and uh, we just decided we would just tell our story in our own voices and then just have the chapters alternate. And then there's a lot of um, embellishment on both of our parts. And so it's kind of cool when you read the book because there's stories that come from both our perspectives and they're very different. So it's basically like going to dinner with us. And when you read, when you read each other's chapters, were there times that you thought to yourself, that didn't happen? Yeah, I was like, she's lying. But I was like, that makes for a better story. So we should definitely do <laughs> yeah. it. That's very good. You embrace that. Yeah. I actually, I remember being in therapy and saying, oh, God, here we go. There's. <laughs> No, actually, I, well, I've always known Tegan's a liar, but the part that shocked me <laughs> was actually just how truly different her story was from what I thought it was gonna be. You know, we're, we're both gay, and we, I think, started to really understand that part of our identity in high school. And I was ready to kind of, like, talk about that, like, to really explore that, like, suffering and that sort of um, fear that I had as an adolescent. <laughs> and T I read Tegan's story, and she's just like, not in touch with that part of herself. <laughs> and so I was like, she's Whoa, like, I, no, I just didn't suffer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true too, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you guys come out to each other? No. no. Oh, interesting. I'm gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We didn't, that's yet another thing, not to be like, our book is so cool, but I do think, you know, the twin experience has not really been explored and I think, like for other people, like, and I spent most of my adult life having people come up and be like, can you read each other's minds? If I pinch Sarah, can you feel <laughs> it? And like, uh, but the more common thing is just to assume that we must be best friends and tell each other everything. But it's actually really hard to have somebody that looks like you is going through all the same things that you are. Like there's this, especially as adolescents, we really wanted to be our own people. And so I think when we were both exploring our sexuality, it was like scary. I was watching Sarah go through it and she was tormented. And I think, I felt like she was gonna think I was copying her. And so it was like, it was just a secret. We were like running around pretending to be different people, even to each other. Well, that's really amazing. Yeah. I do think that that is completely counterintuitive to what people think about twins. Yeah, and, and you see it on the show. I mean, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Like we really lean into that. Another thing that's uh, cool is you cast twins who you already were following them on TikTok. Is that right? No, we weren't following them, but we, the algorithm gave us. Gave them to us. <laughs> yes. Like, if you, like, how, it was like, no more. They're like, you guys no want to check talk. out some twins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, you've seen two hours of clean talk today. How about some twins? Yeah. I was like, it, that is quite literally what happened. We were talking a lot about twins in front of our cell, cell phones, <laughs> cellular phones. 
and we had not yet begun the casting process, but we were talking about twins a lot, and Tegan sent me Rayleigh, who actually plays Tegan on the show, she sent me her TikTok and said, I mean, these <laughs> girls could play us on our show. <laughs> and from that moment forward, we really were like advocating for them all the time. They're not actors. They were not musicians. They did have a lot of likes on TikTok, like millions of likes, and so they so felt famous. So the most famous. important thing that people look <laughs> right. yeah. for these people, days. People like yeah. them, right, yeah. Yeah, we, we <laughs> you know what, I think Tegan and I are, we're good musicians and we, we can do what we do, but I mean, I think everyone agrees it's our charm that really got yeah, us. Yeah. 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 I and mean, they, certainly, if they didn't know before tonight, <laughs> they know now, yeah. yeah. But we found Rayleigh, and then we started obsessing over them, and when it came time to cast the show, we went through the normal procedure of like looking at a lot of really wonderful twins, but we just kept coming back to Season and Rayleigh, and they, they remind us of the way we were when we were younger, and they're from Fresno, they were working in um, I got pizza. A pizza place. Yeah, they were working in pizza, and we were like... In pizza. <laughs> <and> we, <laughs> and we were if, you can, uh, if you can get your foot in the door in pizza... <laughs> And they can always go back if they want to. I mean, we did. <laughs> we'll we, see how the show does. We'll yeah. see how the show does. But we just, um, you know, we watched them really bloom. They, they took acting lessons. We, you know, they, they worked, they became, you know, musical. They can sing. They can play guitar. And they're, they're just incredible. And, um, and we really either, like, I mean, I think the, the jury's out. I think we've hopefully, um, you know, made their lives exciting and different than they were before. And hopefully they don't hate us or we've ruined their lives. Yeah. I don't know yet. It's like, too the show's soon. Not out it's yet, too soon. It could take yeah. years to know. Um, we love them. Did your, were your parents supportive when you decided to pursue music? They were definitely very excited um, by the music we were creating. We'd taken piano lessons our whole life. Um, but we weren't very good. So no, we weren't. <laughs> yeah. So when we started to play guitar and sing, I think they were more just like intrigued and fascinated by what we were doing up there. You know, we weave our vocals together. We were natural harmonizers. There was things melodically we were doing that I think my parents who were big music people and fans of music we're like, oh, this is special. And then we went through a punk rock phase, which kind of conjoined with our um, acid phase. Uh -huh. And I think they were like, make it stop. <laughs> um, go to university. Um, and then we kind of kind of came out of that. And, and you know, a lot of really great things happened to us. And I think that through that journey, they were like, OK, this is the real deal. When was the first time they saw you perform live with other people? Like, not their friends? Yeah. Because my mom would do that. She would, like, bring friends over and bring them upstairs and be like, hey, play for these people. And then she'd be like, are they good? Like, or are they just annoying? I can't, like, you know. I think it was when we, in grade 12, we won a citywide Garage Wars competition. And uh -huh. that was the first time I remember our parents being like, these are, a lot of these people in this room are strangers and they seem to like you. And they were really shocked and really excited. And that definitely... But then they were just like, well, now you need to treat it like a job. You have to pay they rent. They wrecked it for us. Yeah. They oh, wrecked immediately. It. Yeah, they yeah. turned it into an adult thing. Yeah. yeah. So. They're like, congratulations on Garage Wars. Yeah. Uh, here's your bill. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and so we were like, no problem. And 22 years later, we make a show where we depict them and we have control over how they're depicted. Yeah. It's our payback. It's oh, a long nice. game. Yeah, it's... play the long game. Yeah, totally. You, uh, you talk about uh, the sort of dabbling in, in some drug use as, as younger uh, people and... Um, which we're not advocating for. Not advocating. I think you're very honest and clear-eyed about it, which yeah. is very nice. But um, your mom, did she caught you a few times? She found some stashes? Well, yeah. She did. I mean, we thought we were... Brilliant, and we yeah. thought we were yeah. getting away with it most of the time. But my mom went back to university when we were um, teenagers, and she worked evenings, and so uh, we were often left uh, alone. And one night we had friends over, and we bought some would say unsupervised. Yeah, yeah some yeah. would say, but like you know, she was doing the best she could. We love you, mom. Um, and uh, <laughs> she, yeah, she came home in the middle of an evening where we thought she wasn't going to be home, and uh, she went down to her office where we'd been hanging out, and she managed to find like a big. I don't know how big it was, this big, this big. In the book, we would say it was this big. Um, <laughs> a huge bag of weed, and she busted us, and uh, we claimed it was a friend's. Uh, Chris's. Yes. We said it was Chris's. It was Chris. Yeah, we, we were like, it's Chris. Yeah, it and uh, she said, well, I'll give you guys an option. We can smoke all the weed right now together, or we're going to flush it down the toilet. And we were like, no, Mom, it's Chris's. We can't do that. And she was like, well, you'll have to explain it to Chris. You could smoke it with me, or you can flush it down the toilet. So in the end, she flushed it down the toilet. But then, this is the masterful move of my mom. She stayed there all night with us hanging out in 
as us and our friends all burned out. Like we were just like, <laughs> you know, like put a movie on and like had to act like we weren't absolutely just like burnouts. And so we're all like, you know. Um, well played. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a, a page to take out uh, yeah. when you're uh, writing your parenting book. Hey, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for uh, doing a song for us. This is really exciting as well. Um, so we'll too. see you uh, just after this commercial thank break. You. Thank you guys. That's you. Tegan. And Sarah High School premieres on Amazon Freebie October 14th. We'll be right back with a performance. I'm Tegan and Sarah.